Okay, everyone, I have just heard from the desk that we are ready for our next run. So let's dive into another great adventure because it is Beyond Oasis Any% percent with Delicates. Best of luck and take it away. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings for Germany. <laughs> not, not Germany, it's Estonia. Um, no, welcome to Beyond the Oasis game. Um, my name is Delicates or uh, Delicates in Russian. Uh, you're free to call me whatever. Um, I'm not going to read the chat for all at all. I'm not a big streamer. I'm just, I'll just try to um, entertain us. It's uh, early morning in the US, so brace yourselves. It's time for some action. Um, Beyond the Aces or Story of Tor. I'm a bit nervous. I don't speak English much. Uh, just uh, it's not my native language. Like yeah. Um, let's start the run, I guess. Have fun. Mm, so, on, on three, uh, three, two, one, start. Um, not going to talk much uh, in the run. I'll need to concentrate for some time. Uh, the starting scene says that we're a prince that. Um, found some treasure on an island and that fight went went, went great awesome <laughs> uh, we found the treasure um, the gauntlet is a treasure and we have a rival with uh, another gauntlet it's a silver gauntlet mm. That's pretty much all the story. So the island got invaded by silver um, gauntlet mobs, and our peaceful country needs a hero, a speechless hero, as uh, usual for our games for that time. Um, Ali doesn't speak at all, so we speak with people, get the info, done. Um, the practice didn't went well, uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, so I'm afraid to fail many things, uh, yet I have a pretty generous estimate. My average run should be 42 minutes. With speaking, showing stuff, maybe 42 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess you can read some donations if it's possible because I'll be running for some time. It's just running. All right. If there yeah. are any. Yeah, we got plenty of donations. Thank you so much. We have a ten dollar donation here from Silent Princess. My favorite event of the year. The entire with SGDQ, of course. I would will would like to bless all the runners with speedy speeds and good RNG. I hope it helps. Definitely appreciate that good vibes there and good luck. Thank you so much, Silent Princess. Mm, I guess one more. No worries. We have a $10 donation here from Dom Magic Man. Good morning, everyone. I can't wait to see more amazing runs. Also, Monkey. Money goes to Super Monkey Ball bonus game. Keep on keeping on, everyone. Thank you so much to Magic Man. Be sure to keep checking the incentives page if you want to see those bonus games happen. Mm, so, we're getting close to our first boss fight. It's a giant crab. Mm, also, I'm not playing safely. Uh, I didn't pick up any food uh, that uh, replenishes my health. I can't say that's good, but the pattern didn't get us anywhere. So the fight was perfect in just uh, four cycles here. And yeah, the boss is done. Quite easy. Our gold gauntlet is a spirit success, I would say. 
Uh, we are g gathering spirits, and with their help, we're beating enemies. So we have a water spirit, fire spirit, shadow, and nature spirit. Well, getting them all in their original um, order, I would say. Yeah. Nothing, nothing fancy. I would say just running around, getting some fights, and going through as fast as possible. Isn't that any speed run we're looking to like uh, go through fights and do as fast as possible? Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to what to say to public. Like, I hope everyone likes the game. Uh, so far, we didn't lost literally no time. Like the best run for now. World record pace. Jokes on me, of course. No, it's just it's just a good run for now. So, another boss, and I'll be silent for it. Okay. Okay, pattern. Really good pattern, yeah. So, the issue with this fight might be that the hands that appear from from the water, from a shallow water, they might stuck there and that loses a lot of time. So got a great fight, amazing speed run so far. Um, I guess right now I'm getting to the, the key moment of any percent and it's actually useful even in a full run. Uh, the big out of bounds section where we will be traversing the map not in the expected places and totally out of bounds too where we won't see our character at all okay mm, it takes out of practice to master this one i would say uh, but if you're moving slowly you'll be fine Mm, I'll be signed for this part too. You can read donations, I think. No worries. By the way, you're doing a great job, Delicat. Says keep it up. This speedrun looks awesome. But in the meantime, we do have some more donations. We have a five dollar donation here from Olivia. Oh, here's one. Delicatez is super funny. Please let them know that their English is amazing. There you go. You're already a fan favorite, Delicatez. Amazing. We also have $25 here from Tin. Let's go, Delicates. Everyone's behind you, Delicates. Let's see an awesome speed run here. Sure. Go, go. I'll say when you can stop. You have a minute more for sure. Maybe two. Who? Yeah, boy. I'll pick this cheese because uh, I have no food. Actually, in a, in a good run, we try to avoid bad pickups. Bad pickups mean they don't provide enough health or mana regen. 
as a cheese. Sadly, cheese only gives us one of a fourth of a health bar. Mm, actually, that was a really awesome section. We beat it, the OOB. Uh, no place to stuck for us for quite some time. And yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> I I'm glad that went really good. So we need fire to cooperate with us. Uh, and it didn't. Okay, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. Um, enemies do much more damage than we do to themselves. So we try to give them opportunity to actually damage themselves. Yeah. So if the Metal Golem wants to run and run over all his teammates, let him do that. If a Bomber wants to bomb all the, his teammates, let him do that. It's an amazing part where we can just chill and wait till our enemies perish by themselves. Mm. Next up, we're having a first random place. We could have some random pickups during the run. Uh, if there are any tassers or mm, guys who know how tools work, how RNG work, we appreciate any help to understand how this game actually works. Because we don't know how the drops work. Some drops, especially from the chest, are fixed, but enemy drops are totally random. It would be awesome if we will, would be able to figure it out. That would save minutes, I would say. Mm, yeah, the random part here is that the snake boss mm, What's wrong with snake boss? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, nothing wrong with the snake boss actually. Yeah, the, the problem is uh, our equipment. The sword that I'm using, it deals random damage. Uh, Always. The knife that I'm using is not random damage, so it's like it's okay. There is a specific sword that can deal the maximum amount of damage and sadly minimum too. And let's hope for a good RNG. You can prepare our your RNGs or something like that. I'll need to set up something, so I'll go forward. I'll, I'll be silent, please. You can read some donations if you want, <laughs> yeah. All right, no worries. Let's get some more donations going, shall we? <clears throat> we have a $50 donation here from Level 500 Boss. I rented Story of Thor on the Mega Drive as a kid over multiple weekends, so watching it get shredded is cathartic for my wallet. Here's some cash to wish Delicates good luck on the run. Thank you so much. You have time for a few more? Yeah, I'll need to set up things. No worries. We have another $50 donation here from Krobner. Keep on kicking those pixels and taking those frames, Overnight Crew. Thank you so much, Krubner. Um, I'll continue. Uh, the setup is not so hard, but yeah, it happens. Uh, so here we want Ifrit to kick some asses. And let's... Um, I can't say that it's actually manipulating random. But uh, those enemies were 
while they are in at fire, they might drop a bow, a fire bow, and no luck. Okay, it's a random drop. Uh, it can save a lot of time. So I try to do that, uh, especially if I had to use uh, my mana drop early. Oh no. Mm, and the game doesn't want to cooperate with me. That's that's okay, I guess. I have time, let Monkey come. Yeah, come in. I actually have time. I just wait for that. I don't wanna screw my pickups. Yeah. yeah, you can talk for a bit. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna ask if we had time for a few more donations. Yeah. Go on. Okay. No worries at all. Five dollars here from Coolbird. Not familiar with the game, but I'm rooting for the runner who's doing a great job commentating. Greetings from Ukraine, you've got this. You also so, have... So many donations from Ukraine, wow. Yeah, indeed. We've got a lot of support for you, Delicates. We have, nice. a, we have a $10 donation here from Garad. Let's beat games while beating cancer. Okay, um, that's my fault. <laughs> I wasn't able to set up properly. So let's hope uh, the snake shows us a dawn one, one more time and we'll finish it up. Um, the random part is that uh, you need to hit yeah four times and might not be enough of a damage. This time it was enough damage, good RNG. So thanks everyone for rooting for a good RNG. And I also need some help <laughs> because I'm nervous, I guess. Just um, to play better, let's play better. We have a mm, an okay food management. Mm, not many more, not many time lost, not much. So after some side quests, I would say they're looking like side quests, though they, uh, the game is li linear, you can't mm, go outside of your uh, field of duties, I would say. Next up, we need to pick up a Shadow Spirit. Uh, let's hope it goes well. You can read some donations too, I'll try to concentrate. Alright, no worries. We have a $50 donation here from Fried Max. I've been watching GDQ VODs for years now, and I'm glad to be able to watch this weekend. Good luck, runners! Save the animals! Thank you very much Yay. for Do we have a Metroid in this uh, GDQ? I don't remember. Like, where we actually saved, them. <laughs> saved the animals. I don't remember. Do you? We did have it earlier in the marathon, yes. Metroid Prime Hunters. Yeah, but does it have a part where you save animals? I guess not. <laughs> uh, so here we come to the really important part where I should cross over here and first try. That's really good. Saves a lot of time, saves our resources and we're getting to the boss right away. Mm, not that good. 
he was too far away. Stop. Okay, that happens rarely. Aha, I got him. No worries, guys, I got, got him. Easy. I don't need HP from now. I need to, to save my... Mm, I need to save my bar. I need to keep my bar quite low. I'll regen half of my HP. And let's hope um, everything else goes as planned. Because this dungeon went quite well. Mm, so we're coming to the part where we're escaping this dungeon with the uh, Shadow Spirit. Mm. For the first time, if you'll play, you might uh, get lost, I think, yeah. Especially if you lose uh, Shadow Spirit, because you know, there is only one place where you can get the Shadow Spirit. It's this dungeon. Right after the boss, I mean this room, this room, this room. Um, and then you can't get it at all, and you all need to return to this room. Uh, it's quite painful if if you don't know uh, that you actually need the shadow. If you despawn it or uh, you lose mana and it get despawned automatically. I'm so glad this was one of my first child games. Oh, um, this was the first game I actually finished with my bro. Mm. There is a lot to explore, um, many, many hidden places without the guides. You might not even find them, yeah. So they worked well for this game. It's not a particularly child's game, I would say. It's quite hard. But uh, if you get enough resources, everything is manageable. You can just have a lot of weapons and food resources and you'll be fine. There are a lot of places where you can farm food, too. Not the weapons, though. The weapons are quite limited and it's hard to get them. It's a random drop. But you can get an infinite weapon, which we don't use in uh, any percent, but might be useful in uh, all gems percent or 100%. And we're getting close to the nature's mm, nature shrine, the the hardest dungeon for, I would say. And if we'll find the way to skip one place in the game, uh, then maybe we don't even we won't even need this dungeon at all. Yeah. Okay, I'll need to concentrate a lot I guess it will be a couple minutes for sure so it can read donations or maybe ask some questions yeah no worries and by the way delicate says you're doing a fantastic job so keep up the great work here I'm, I'm loving every second of this to be honest with you but in terms of donations let's read some off shall we we have a $25 donation here from casual nerd Long time watcher, first time donator. I am in a privileged position in that I had a no, jo no job worries in this weird times, so I can give back. Also, the obligatory greetings from Germany. Thank you so much, casual nerd. We also have a $5 donation from Anonymous. Thanks for continue doing these events. Both my parents are currently working their way through cancer and chemos. Knowing that there are people who will always help no matter if they are affected or not, can't thank you enough. Anonymous, thank you so much for your donation there. So about this run, it looks like it's a bit of a mix of RPG and platforming almost. Mm, maybe. It depends on how you see RPG uh, games in general. Like we don't have a um, 
a way to gain stats. Like we can get some HP, uh, but it's quite fixed. But the action platformer, I would say, for sure. Yeah, it looks like it. I really like the movement in this game. Yeah, you, like I said, you're doing a great job. So just keep up the awesome work that like it is. Trying my best. And here are meatballs. Uh, I think I'm the only one who calls them that, that. They look like meatballs, I know. At least to me. And they are a lot of annoying. They are flying enemies and flying enemies are mostly unbeatable, I would say. If you, like, they fly usually in the rooms like this, where you can't get them without getting on their land in the air. This room took quite some time to, um, to manage and understand how to make it quick, as quick as possible, because we don't want to fight them alone. Um, also, you can hear, uh, you are hearing, my health is low, and this sound is not pleasant, but I would say bear with me, we need some time. It will end soon, <laughs> in a couple minutes, maybe in five. We have time okay, to I'm getting, oh. Yeah, I'm getting to the part where I need to be silent again, and you can read some donations. All right, we got some more donations. We have a $5 donation here from Ollie. Always so much fun learning about new games through the art of speedrunning. Delicates, you are doing such an amazing job. You can do this. Thank you so much for the encouragement, Ollie. Thanks. We also have a $25 donation here from Sir Opec. Waking up in California just to watch you break an old favorite. Who knew bombs could help you jump as far as an Olympian? Here's the good sword, RNG, and remember to never trust your siblings. Love heart. Oh, we've got the exact amount of HP we want. It's, uh... Mm, no, not exact. Like, almost exact. So, we need to have... Sadly, we need to die. Uh, we won't die, actually, because we have a potion that we got from a um, fairy or water spirit shrine. Uh, it revives us if our HP falls to zero. And uh, my goal is to preserve my HP. Mm. This low to the exact part. Exact one part. And we call it a uh, zombie glitch. Um, it sounds funny. Uh, because enemies don't react to us while we mm, in this state. And you'll see the boss being destroyed. Literally destroyed because I'll need to do it, sorry. Uh, <sighs> okay. I didn't do it. My bad. <laughs> I'll be silent. Uh, I'll eat it. Yeah, you can read donations, I guess. No worries. I was actually just about to ask, so uh, good timing there. We have yeah. 20, twenty-five dollars to hear from Buggy Tracks Beyond Oasis. Heck yeah, one of my favorite games. Played a ton when I was a kid. Had to donate for that. Here is to hoping we get to see Legends of Oasis in a future run. Oh, I hope so too. Oh. Thank you, thank you very much for your donation there, Buggy Tracks. 
That game not so popular though. Also, it's hard to play it. It was on uh, Sega Dreamcast. I don't remember. Well, it's not Sega Mega Drive in general. Guess we'll find out. Do we have time for one more quick one? Sure. All right, no worries. We have a $50 donation here from Dimitrio. Sorry, Dimitrio. Hey, GDQ. Greetings from a viewer of the Russian Restream community. Thank you a lot for this awesome celebration right after the new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Wish you all the greatest mood and good luck to the runner. Thank you so much for your generous donation. Same to you. Same to you. Thanks a lot. That dungeon went okay. <laughs> Better than expected for sure. Um, nothing unusual happened. We're getting the, our last spirit and the end game is near. We're... Mm, we finished half of the game with collecting four spirits. And by the story, if we are following that, we need to return to our castle uh, and... All saving. Um, and... Um, we will learn that Silver Gauntlet stole our precious sister. Uh, yeah, we have a sister and a king is our father. Then we're getting to the sewers. Not a place a pleasant place to be. Uh, so we're avoiding that by getting this OB that's saving like 10 minutes, I would say for sure. And we're going to trade our sister for a thing that we had to collect from sewers. Mm funny game doesn't care if I have that thing or not because the game is liner doesn't expect me to get here without this item because the way to get to this part is blocked until we get the item we're just trading our sister for nothing that's great bargain see And this dungeon have a lot hard of a hard fight, so I'll be silent for sure for some time. I guess you can read donations or ask questions. Sorry about that. Yeah, all right, no worries. Let's read a couple donations here. $25 here from Sham. With COVID disrupting cancer diagnosis and treatment, we need to help now more than ever. Greetings from Ireland. Thank you so much, Jim. You got a question? How many? How many more of these uh, meatballs are we going to see? Do you think? Mm, a couple more, but I'm not going to fight them. Wow! Look at that. Food drops. The only sad part I don't need it. So it rotten there. Yeah. Sadly. Mm. The fight went not expected way. Okay, I'll take one, I'll take one. I regret my decision, I'll take one. <laughs> um what what is saying? I was saying something, but I don't remember what exactly. Ah, oh, about the meatballs, right? Uh, no, I answered that question. I don't remember, man. <laughs> I lost my uh, thought. That happens. That's all good. If you need to concentrate, just uh, let me know, and I can read off some more donations. Um. Yeah, here comes a really important part. Uh, the kind of OB part, so I'll be silent for a couple minutes too. You can read some donations. All right, no worries. We've got some more donations here. We have a $50, sorry, $50 anonymous donation with no comments, but thank you so much again for your generous donation. 
Another $50 here from Raiden Fallen, also with no comments, but again, muchly appreciated. Another comment here, sorry, another donation here from Vilas, $10 with no comments, but again, thank you so much. We also have a $25 donation here from Rob. As a two-time cancer survivor, I love seeing GDQ help such a great cause. Keep up the good fight. Thank you so much. Okay. We are forcing Bomber to destroy the pillar because we need our spirit to destroy this this cage. And these uh, green bars are undestructible. Uh, you can't deal any damage to them unless it's our nature spirit. And... Mm, There is a part where we need to trespass another um, green bars <laughs> because I'm concentrating and talking so hard. <laughs> uh, another green bars, yeah. Um, and hope if we hope one day someone will find a way to get around that exact place. Not this one, the other one later. Uh, and we won't need to bother and actually get this rather cute spirit. But it's time, you know, it's any percent. We need to save, save time. Uh, another boss fight, it's three-eyed boss fight. Uh, after we discovered this um, invulnerability glitch, uh, it became really, really easy. Uh, the only thing is we need to manage uh, our damage because as soon as we're hitting half HP, the third eye starting to laser in that beam and. Okay, please. Our goal to not see that beam at all. Like, yeah, I, I failed it. Not badly, but just a bit. And done. Easy. Easy clap. Mm. We're finishing the game. Bear with me. It's, it's almost, almost finished. <laughs> I have uh, too many resources. Play too safe. Well, it's my from run, yeah? We, we need to play safe. I want to finish run, not to play a great record or something like that. I think the actual time will be 42 minutes, as I said, around that time. Uh, we also will see another great OB that helps us to um, how? I don't know the actual war but it, it it helps us <laughs> okay let, let let's say it helps us to finish game faster it should be enough right <laughs> everything we do does speed up the game believe me yeah, just believe me. Uh, yeah, I think nothing to add here. I'm just going through. I didn't pick up the spirit, so I'll need to do it. And you can read some donations, so I'll concentrate a bit. All right, no worries at all. We have a $15 donation here from Zeronis. I was so done with the holiday rush, and now that GDQ is back and running, it really feels like a true new year. Let's hope for another good year and tons of donations. You know what? I agree with you. Thank you so much. We also have a $100 donation here from Anonymous with no comments, but again, super generous of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have a $5 donation here from Blitz Fritz, jumping on that $5 train. Long time watcher, first time donator. I've been a fan of GDQ for a couple of years, and I've finally gotten a chance to donate 
Wishing the speedrunners good luck and memorable marathon moments. Hype! Hype. Yes, indeed. All the hype. We also have, just quickly, $25 here from Muktuk. Let's go, AGDQ. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much, everyone, for all your encouragement and good vibes. And for your generous donations. I'm getting to the OB section, so I need to concentrate a bit more if I have anything else. Feel free to go. Okay, never mind, I did it first try. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay. Uh, but uh, this OB saves us uh, a red key. The only thing in this game from uh, pick up all items in dungeons. The only keys uh, that are saving are the red keys. All other keys respawn and doors um, activate back. So, like, they are closed all the time so if you leave the dungeon. Mm. Currently, we are managing red keys quite well. But if we'll find a get great way to maybe duplicate them or something like that, that will be amazing, of course. Uh, back. Okay, even with a not that good setup, we've done it. Uh, the room asks us uh, to lit some lanterns. And the fastest way to do it is the fire, um, Ifrit Spirit. You can see that it's not that easy to control him. In, in fact, you can't control him. He uh, reacts to some comments. He, he follows our comments, but um, in general, he's, he's a spirit. He does what he wants. And as a fire, some spirit, uh, meatballs time, and no more meatballs. Uh, as a fire spirit, he just destroys everything he can reach. That's a good part, of course. Oh. Okay, I need to pass this part. Wish me luck. It's quite important part. I'll need to lose a lot of time. Otherwise. Okay. Okay. Done. Easy. We're getting close to the end. Um, it's maybe five minutes and we're done. This gate. Yeah. This exact gate is... We didn't find any way to pass it. We need someone to to figure out how to pass this gate without the spirit. If we'll find this, it saves as 25 minutes, maybe? 20. Let's, let's finish at 15. Uh, 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 okay. Um, as I'm finishing the game, there will be some fights. Uh, I'll be silent for the rest of the run. Uh, the time will be when the the water boss the, in the next room will be finished. I'm done. We are good for a few donations while you do these few boss, boss fights? Yeah, I'll be silent for most part. All right, no worries. Let's get some donations going. $25 here from Zach, and they say, gotta go fast. I agree with that sentiment. Thank you so much. We have $250 here from Jack Leteau. Massive thanks to the crew keeping a smooth sailing show for another year. I can't wait to see these amazing runs. Art, thank you so much. Very generous of you. Speaking of which, we have another $250 donation here from Victiliz. Here's to another year of improving the lives of others. Hope everyone out there had a wonderful and safe holidays. We also have $250. That's right, three times $250 from Clouder with no comments. But again, incredible generosity. Thank you so much for your donations. Hmm. 
And speaking of which, we do have another $250 donation here from Craig Downing. So happy to be able to catch GDQ this year and donate to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. This donation is dedicated to my mom, Michelle, and all other people who have had to fight cancer. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much. Time. <clears throat> mm. That was amazing. <laughs> I finished uh, somehow. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm commentating the Russian on the Russian restream, all on GDQs, some couple of ESAs, uh, that's also my phone, uh, for more than five years. Um, I'm enjoying GDQ, AGQ, AGQs, ASGDQs a lot. Mm. Yeah, that's probably what I want to say. Enjoy the rest of the marathon and have a great time. What an incredible run of Beyondo the Oasis there from Delicatiz. Let's get some GDQ claps in the chat there for Delicatiz. What a fantastic run. That was great. A lot of action in there. Good job. Speaking of which, still some awesome encouragement coming here through the donations for Delicatiz. Jack of Barbs donated $25 and says, Go Delicatiz, go! I gotta say, everyone's encouragement certainly helped, so thank you so much for all your encouragement, all of your donations, and congratulations again, Delicatez, on a fantastic run of Beyond Oasis. We also have a $25 donation here from Reb, and they say, shout out to the tech team for getting everything working. You know what, I agree, shout out to the tech crew. All right, and that is it for me for the host shift tonight. Thank you all for being such great company for your generous donations. We saw a lot of action there and also a lot of very good jumps. What an action-packed night it has been. We're going to go to a quick break, but after the break, next host will be joining you. It will be the awesome Samurais. Thank you so much, everyone. See you all next time.
All right. Thank you so much, Sandshark. And good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2022, powered by Twitch. My name is Samarazi, and I'm going to be hanging out with you for the next couple hours. We have plenty more games done very, very quick coming up. But first, some donations. All right, I have a $5 donation from Fives Rinson. A fantastic run by Delicatus. I'm so impressed by the skill on display at every GDQ event. The amount of concentration it must take to run and provide your own commentary blows my mind. Well done. Let's keep smashing those goals. Greetings from the UK. And just a follow up to our last run, a $100 donation from Robert. Great run, Delicates. Love GDQ and raising money for a great cause. Thank you so much for your donation. Just Plain Lucky donates $25. I used to love playing this game with my friend until cancer cut his life short. Thank you for everything you do and may you rest in peace, Keon. Well, thank you so much for your donation. And I've got $100 from Maki Atelier. Hello, longtime viewer, first time donating. GDQ is an awesome event. I remember spending all my college years organizing anime conventions to raise money and help people with disabilities here in Chile. So I resonate so much with the hard work you all put into this event. It's always inspiring to see so much energy, passion, and spirit in this event to help fight such an awful disease. Hope to keep the donations coming for years to come. Best wishes and have a great week. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much. And I, I just want to give a quick shout out to our tech crew. Absolutely amazing people. To all the hosts, to everyone, and to you, our viewers. You are all amazing. Sending in tons of donations. You're a fantastic. Everyone, just give yourself a round of applause. You deserve it. Thank you. DW donates $250. Donating in memory of my dad, who lost his battle against pancreatic cancer almost one year ago. While his disease was incurable, early detection would have given him so much more time for treatment than he was able to receive. Thank you to the Prevent Cancer Foundation for their life-saving work and to GDQ for being a bright light these past two difficult years. Well, thank you so much, DW. We really appreciate it. And I've got a $25 donation here from Bibby Brown. Thanks for entertainment while I work overnights. I completely understand. It's just past five in the morning here. So we're really happy we can keep you entertained. And thank you so much for your donation. Geeks Anonymous donates $10. Long time watcher, first time donator. I hope to one day go to a live AGDQ, but catching it live on Twitch is the next best thing. Thank you for all the work you do. Both my grandmothers died from cancer, so this always hits close to home. Big love to my spouse, Killian, whom I'm watching at home with. Thank you so much for your donation. I'm very excited to say we have a $500 donation from Lunko. Thank you for all these years raising funds for health and humanity. Playing games is certainly the best way to do that in my opinion. I wish everyone the best for 2022 and the end of cancer. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Lunko, for your donation. And a $15 donation from Anonymous. First time watching GDQ Live. Planning on watching during work all week and donating every day. Eager to see all the games getting thoroughly broken and excited to see how much more money we can raise together. Well, you know what? I'm excited too. We have some absolutely amazing people donating and again, chat, just gotta say thank you so much.
I have a $10 donation from Jammy James that just says orb. So, you know what chat, I'd really like to see it. Let's see the best orb emote. Show me all the best orb emotes you have. I'd love to see that. All right, a Rockalypse donates $250 saying, Hi, I wish to thank all our brilliant minds who devote hours of their time to give hope to the unfortunate individuals who have been afflicted with cancer. And a thank you to all the gamers and donators who help provide support and encouragement to everyone involved. With love from the Sassy server in Australia. Yes, on a funny note, my brother and I got inspired to try a non-seated run at 220% on synthetic. Not only did we finish the game, but we also done so in the allotted time for AGDQ. See you next year. Well, thank you so much, and we hope to see you at the next AGDQ. Oh, and I am seeing those orbs. Thank you so much, guys. I'm seeing all those orbs. You are amazing, chat.